Hello, and welcome to this podcast from the Share English. Hi, I am Julia, and this is my friend Adam. We are excited to talk to you about a very interesting topic. Yes, today we will talk about technology in our daily life. Technology is everywhere and helps us in many ways. But before we start, let's explain a bit more about what we mean by technology. Good idea, Adam. When we say technology, we are talking about tools and machines that make our lives easier. These can be big machines like cars and airplanes, or small devices like phones and computers. Exactly, Julia. Technology can also mean software and applications that help us do things. For example, apps on our phones or programs on our computers. Technology helps us in many areas of our lives, like communication, education, work, and even in our free time. That's right. And today, we are going to explore how technology affects us every day. We will talk about how we communicate with each other using technology, how we learn new things with technology, and how we use technology to do everyday tasks. We will also discuss some of the advantages and disadvantages of using technology. Technology has many benefits, but it can also have some downsides if we are not careful. Yes, it is important to know how to use technology in a smart and safe way. But don't worry, we will keep everything simple and easy to understand. This podcast is for everyone. Even if you are just starting to learn English, that's right, Julia. We want to make learning English fun and interesting. So let's get started with our first topic, communication. But before we dive in, let's take a moment to think about how our lives have changed with technology. Yes, Adam. Can you imagine a day without using your phone or computer? It would be very different, right? Absolutely. These days, we use technology from the moment we wake up until we go to bed. For example, many people use their phone as an alarm clock. When we wake up, the first thing we do is check our phones for messages, emails, or social media updates. And throughout the day, we use technology for many things. We use it to talk to our friends and family, to study, to work, and even to relax and have fun. Technology is so integrated into our lives that sometimes we don't even realize how much we use it. It has changed the way we do things and has made many tasks easier and faster. Yes, and that's why it's so important to understand how technology works and how it can help us. But also, we need to be aware of its impact on our lives and learn to use it in a balanced way. Well said, Julia. Now let's dive into our first segment, communication. We will talk about how technology has changed the way we communicate with each other, from making phone calls to sending text messages and using social media. Technology has made it easier to stay connected with people all around the world. Yes, communication is a very important part of our lives. It helps us to share information, express our feelings, and stay in touch with our loved ones. Technology has given us many new ways to communicate that are fast and convenient. Absolutely, and in this segment, we will discuss the different tools we use for communication, how they work, and how they have changed our lives. So, stay with us. As we explore the fascinating world of communication technology, let's start with something simple and familiar: the phone. We all use phones to talk to each other, but did you know that the first phone was invented more than 140 years ago? That's right, Julia. The telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell in 1876. It was a revolutionary invention that allowed people to talk to each other over long distances. Before that, people had to send letters, which took a long time. And today, we have smartphones that can do so much more than just make calls. We can send text messages, 
take photos, browse the internet, and even play games. Yes, smartphones are like small computers that fit in our pockets. They have changed the way we communicate and access information. But let's not forget the basic function of the phone, making calls. Making a phone call is still one of the most common ways to communicate. It's direct, personal and immediate. You can hear the other person's voice and have a real-time conversation. And with the advent of video calls, we can now see the person we are talking to. This adds another layer of connection, making the conversation more personal and engaging. Video calls are amazing, especially for people who live far away from their families and friends. They can see each other and feel more connected, even if they are miles apart. Yes, tools like Skype, Zoom and FaceTime have become very popular, especially during the pandemic when people couldn't meet in person. These tools have not only helped people stay connected with loved ones, but also allowed them to work and study from home. Video conferencing has become a normal part of our lives. Another important communication tool is email. Email is used for both personal and professional communication. It is fast, efficient, and allows us to send documents, photos, and other files. Yes. Email is very useful for work and school. We can send and receive messages quickly, no matter where we are. It's also a great way to keep a record of our communications. And then there's social media. 